Hey guys, at Nord by Messy here. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and follow me on Instagram at Lolly Forever. Follow me on TikTok at Lolly Forever One. And follow my dog Instagram, Baby Sammy for Life. Okay, in the video, I'm going to show you something that I did. And then I'm going to explain. Well, first I'm going to explain. So, I love challenging myself. Like, whenever it comes to, like, training to be a pop star, or I love to challenge myself. Whether it's finding something that is very extreme or challenging, lynching, or even just being in voice lesson, choosing a very difficult song to sing. Like, I'm always challenging myself. I love a good challenge. And so, last year, in 2021, in January, in, well, here's the thing. In, yeah, I saw, like, a, like, I, I thought aerial work is really cool. There's multiple types of aerial work thing. There's, there's an aerial, or there's aerial straps, which are really cool. I don't know that much about them, but I have seen a few things involving them, and they're really cool. Well, I have never worked with them whatsoever. Or, and then there's, there's an aerial hoop. Cool. Never worked with one. I want to one day. But, I want to one day, but, um, that's something that, one day, maybe. And because, those things, I have looked into aerial hoops. Those things are expensive. They're expensive, and also, I don't have the space to put one. And so, anyways. Anyways, then there's an aerial with dance hammock. I thought I ordered one in January of last year, and then I'll explain all of that in a minute. Turns out it was thin silk. Oh, that's why I, I'll explain. Then there's thin silk, which is the same as thick silk. It's the same thing as, like, silk and stuff. Like, when you, like, go to, like, a circus and you see, like, I mean, like, acrobat or... Maybe they're acrobat, or like these people doing like all this really cool like contortion -y stuff, like in the air and stuff. I'm like on like two like silk. Okay, so I'm gonna show you because I did this at North at the top and messy and at North and that. But anyway, like there's thin silk, um, and then there's thick silk. I. I don't really know if there's a difference between them. I think the only difference is one is thin, one is thin, and one is thick. Meaning, like, one spreads out really wide, which is thick, and then one doesn't spread out that much, which is thin. I don't really know. I'm not the one to, uh, like, really say. I feel like aerial is work. It's very cool, but it is dangerous. So, I realized a couple of months ago, well, actually, no, I got the dance hammock, or what I thought was one, and then we had problems with it. We couldn't figure out how to set it up, and then we, and you're probably like, go to YouTube watch videos. But for the time that I specifically had, or have, and first up, it's not even, it's thin silk that I have. I thought it was an aerialist dance ham. It's cool because I love all aerialist work. And so, anyways, anyways, is basically anyways, the point is that there's like a ton of aerial work or like so many different types and then I ended up using a JoJo blanket and and first up I'm gonna explain that because an, an aerial dance hammock is different from a swing 
and I'm going to explain that because um, for some reason, every time any of my family talks about it, they call it a swing. It's not. I'm going to kind of explain that it's an honest mistake. And I don't think any of them are purposely like doing it. It's that I feel like they just don't really know the difference or anything. And you think so in a minute, I'll explain that. And then we switch to a sheet. And then, then over time, I mean, figured out how to work it. We got it to work. We did like so many different things. And then a couple months ago, actually it might have been like a month ago, I'm not exactly sure. I looked into something. I looked. I was, like, looking into it, like, I to figure out, like, something, something seemed off. And then I realized, I got, I didn't get an aerial, I think it's hammock. I got thin aerial silks. And what I think, yeah. And I say that because, um, yeah, those are the thin ones, okay. And sorry, I don't know why I even said that, but they're thin airless silk. And so, at first, yeah, there's so many things. So, I ended up, like, trying to do a few things. I we set up how it's supposed to, and then I, like, tried to do a few things, and then basically what happened was after... I, I couldn't do anything with them, like, I, and then I ended up, me and my dad took it down, and now it's back up again, we put it up today, because I realized I was doing it wrong, and I was trying to just challenge myself too much, like, I need to, I, and I have gone on it once, and did just a few basic things, and I actually feel, you know, like, here's the thing. I'm not a professional at this, but I feel I did, it's the start of something. And so, I discovered a lot. Uh, a lot. First up, um, I'm going to say first up, the difference between in a swing and an aerialist dance hammock and an aerialist dance hammock and, and made from fabric. It's made from like I a really stretchy type fabric. And a swing is not. Well, there are some swings. And but also the main difference in the swing, you swing back and forth and sometimes you can twist. And like I, an aerialist dance hammock is actually made and so you can do a bunch of contortion and slash flexibility stuff in the air. Like it means so you can do a bunch of contortion and flexibility stuff in the air. Also, another big difference is an air lifting hammock is more dangerous than a swing. All aerial work is very dangerous. That's why I'm saying. Do not go, like, you're, like, first up, aerial and dance hammocks and are not that much money. But do not go out and buy one. Do not use one unless you have an adult watching you or you are properly trained. Unless you are properly trained or you have an adult giving you permission to go on it and also an adult watching you. Because it is very dangerous. And also, do not attempt anything crazy until you have the basics and work your way up. I'm saying that, and if that's still not enough um, to get you not to, and if you're going to, put at least put down a thick mat. Not, uh, like, not a yoga mat, but like an actual thick mat. Um, primarily put a couple of them down, and also, um, if you don't have, like, thick mats, then a bunch of pillows work, like, just grab a bunch of pillows, um, or, um, 
a bunch of really thick blankets, like a lot, so it piled up really, really thick. And, or, I mean, I guess you can use, like, a bunch, like, a giant pile of clothes that are clean, but, I put, make it where it's safe so you fall, you land on something that you're not going to get hurt. Yeah, so I'm making these rules because safety first, the aerial work is very, very challenging, but very dangerous. And doing in the aerial, doing the, the aerial silks, silks, I just started like on some of it. And it's a lot of fun, but it involves a lot of arm strength. Luckily, I I love arm day. I hate leg day. And for me, what I mean is when I work out, I'm usually working out my arms and not really my legs for two reasons. And the reason I'm training to be a pop star, meaning I'm in dance class a lot. Uh, and pretty soon, actually, no, in 23 days, and in 23 days, I will be in ALDC in boot camp 2022 on Zoom. So I'm very excited and that's going to be great. Last year was so much fun and this year I feel like it's more organized. And I mean last year it was a lot of fun. But I felt like last year, even from the looks of it, it was like wall to wall people and also it was like wall to wall people. And it just kind of, like, there were parts of it that just seemed, like, it was kind of chaotic. And, and, like, it was back and forth, like, between, like, I beginner and advanced. And now, and that made challenging for the Zoom people to be in the correct class. What that means is, is I'm 12, I'm, I would be in the 12 and up class because I'm almost 17. And, and last year I kind of did both the beginner or like the 11, 7th or 11 and, and the 12 and up because it was back and forth. But this year it's more organized. So there's a time slot for the beginner classes or like 7th or 11 and then there's a time slot for the 12 and up. So that's great. And that's great. And, and so, um, so I'm excited. But I uh, like doing aerial like work. Or like doing aerial with silk. For some, this is something that like, it involves a lot of arm strength. And I would say I have a pretty good amount of arm strength. But I'm still like, kind of struggling. Don't worry, I'm. Even though I'm not trained on this, don't worry, I'm being very, very safe. I have an acro an acrobatic mat, uh, also known as a fold-up mat, also known as a gymnastics mat, uh, underneath. And also, uh, if I don't land on the mat, it's fine because I have a pillow right next to the mat and it's a really thick pillow <laughs> and it's a lot of fun like for me it's a lot of fun but I'm also being very safe I have stuff so if I do fall I'm safe also I have I'm trained in dance and so like I can't slack some contortion stuff like can't slash some contortion stuff so don't worry I am very very safe and I'm gonna say like the video's gonna be kind of one of my shorter ones but don't worry I'm being very safe on this I wanted to, like, kind of show it off. 
off a little bit because um, that way I want to like make a video based around it. That way if you guys see it in a video one day you're not like what is that like you know. Um, uh, and ignore that pop sound. Um, for some unreason because I have not stretched today, really. Well, I did, I did do a couple side tilts. Well, he'll stretch into a side tilt because of that. Of that, like, I went to move my foot and it popped a little. Don't worry, it's fine. I'm like, it's perfectly fine. But that happens sometimes. When I get, when I train so much, and then I, like, don't really stretch too much on a certain day, and my body's like, you need to stretch. And I'm like, okay. But I'm, I'm always challenging myself. Um, and, yeah, it's a lot of fun to, like, I do this, but I'm gonna repeat to not do this at home. Like, because, again, it is dangerous, and it can lead to a lot of, like, really bad things. Like, if you don't, if you aren't properly trained, and you go to do something, you can easily slip and fall, and then end up getting injured somehow. There's that. And also, like, you're doing stuff in the air. And, like, there's, so, like, yeah, anyway... Like, you kind of get the point. Um, that's like the only thing is that one. I, and you never know if you fall, depending on how high up you get before you fall. Or, it depends on how, like, high, or how long you fall. Like, if you're high up and you fall from, like, really up high, like, you don't know, you can seriously get injured and stuff. Um, if you don't do this correctly. So, don't worry, I'm being safe. I have mats. I'm trained. I, I'm, I have mats, and I also have a pretty good amount of dance training, and also I'm not really attempting anything too crazy until I handle the basics. And I'm doing this because it's something fun for me, but also um, but also there's like, I'm starting to realize that every once in a while, there's just a time when like, I, I'm not in dance so much, and then I get bored, and this is something I can do. Also, it's something that one day, if I get really good at it, and then one day go on tour or something, and I can do like, some really cool acts involving it and stuff. But don't worry, I'm being extremely safe. But, yeah, peace out.